Greetings YouTube, welcome to a whole new adventure in product liability disclaimer labelling featuring what I can only describe as being first class comprehensive technical legalese. I kid you not, try this, danger, using an engine or wood slash charcoal slash gas fueled appliance indoors can kill you in minutes. Engine exhaust and wood slash charcoal gas fumes contain carbon monoxide. This is a poison you cannot see or smell. Never use inside a building, home, garage, boat, caravan or tent, even if doors and windows are open. Only use outside and far away from windows, doors and vents. Avoid other hazards. Read manual before use. General, do not operate in a hazardous location. Such areas include where there is a risk of explosion of petrol fumes, leaking gas or explosive dusts. Do not operate in a confined area where exhaust gas or wood slash charcoal gas slash fumes could reach dangerous concentrations. Products featuring an engine. Follow all warnings in the section titled General. Explosion hazard, never smoke while refueling. Take care not to spill fuel. When refueling the engine, ensure the engine has been allowed to cool. Prevent spilling of fuel as this may also ignite with a hot engine. Never refuel while the engine is running. Generators, follow all warnings in the section titled General and products featuring an engine. The output of this generator is potentially lethal. The generator should not be connected to a fixed electrical installation except by an appropriately licensed person, not weatherproof. Protect your machine. This machine is not weatherproof and should not be exposed to direct sunlight, high ambient temperature, damp conditions, wet conditions, or high humidity conditions. How's that? Not a single error of spelling, not a single error of grammar or punctuation, perfectly under constumbleable even by a hillbilly like myself just wrap your ears around this part some experts believe the incorrect or prolonged use of almost any product could cause serious injury or death for information that may reduce your risk of serious injury or death consult the points below and additionally the information available at www.datastreamserver.com safety Consult all documentation, packaging and product labelling before use. Note that some products feature documentation available online. It is recommended to print and retain the documentation. As it happens, my son, who acquired this chainsaw for me on the internoodle, is at this very moment printing out the online manual. I'm not actually going to open the box till I get it. It should be fun. Before each use, Check the product for loose slash broken slash damaged slash missing parts, wear or leaks bracket if applicable, close bracket. Never use a product with a loose slash broken slash damaged missing parts, wear or leaks. Products must be inspected and serviced bracket if applicable, close bracket, by a qualified technician every six months, full stop. This is based on average residential use by persons of average size and strength, and on a property of average metropolitan size. Use beyond these recommendations may require more frequent inspections slash servicing. Ensure that all users of the product have completed a suitable industry recognized training course before being allowed access to the product. The product has been supplied by a general merchandise retailer that may not be familiar with your specific application or description of application. Be sure to attain third party approval from a qualified specialist for your application before use, regardless of any assurances from the retailer or its representatives. This product is not intended for use where fail safe operation is required. As with any other product, bracket, for example, automobile, computer, toaster, close bracket, there is the possibility of technical issues that may require the repair or replacement of parts or of the product itself. If the possibility of failure and the associated time it may take to rectify could in any way inconvenience the user or business or employee 
or financially infect the, affect the user, business or employee, then the product is not suitable for your requirements. This product is not intended for use where incorrect operation or a failure of any kind, including but not limited to a condition requiring product return, replacement, parts replacement, or service by a technician may cause financial loss, loss of employee time, or an inconvenience requiring compensation. If this product has been purchased in error when considering the inf information presented here, contact the retailer directly for details of their returns policy if required. I have to say that is the most comprehensive legalese disclaimer to cover any circumstance where any product that they sell causes any damage to anyone that I have ever seen. And I think it, it I don't know whether it's gonna be valid in an Australian court. I don't know whether you can actually weasel your word, weasel word your way out of it like that, but it, it, it's a brilliant effort for trying. The particular circumstances of this experiment in Chinesium chainsaws, which will be unboxed on a different video in due course, is that a certain fire brigade captain was about to use funds raised by the brigade in order to purchase a chainsaw to put onto the fire truck because technically the fire truck's too small to require a chainsaw, but it's been very useful the past couple of years. The brigade captain was putting their own saw on the truck and some other crew used the truck and fed the saw dirty petrol and it, it took the brigade captain literally months and he had to disassemble the saw before finding the hidden secret fuel filter in the base of the crankcase and clean out the sawdust and crap from that and then the saw has been fine but anyway it resolved to put a saw purchased by the brigade on the truck rather than his own pet personal saw and eleven hundred dollars for a saw that replicates the one that he's had for 16 years that went through the being used by idiot space <clears throat> so he happened to notice that there was, well, actually he was playing with his own saw and, and a, a nearby neighbor heard him playing with it, sought advice on a Chinesium chainsaw. He got that going and he thought he might have a look at the internoodle and see what Chinesium chainsaws went for on the internoodle. And $150 for a 55cc chainsaw with free delivery. So he got one just to see how bad it could be because he was thinking, you know, you could buy eight of these things and put one on each fire truck and have six hanging on the wall of spares, you know, if something went wrong. Um, so he got one and it was such an impressive unit that I gave him the money to get one for myself. And when he went to look at the internoodle, the price had changed. It was no longer $150, it was only $129 and it still had free delivery by regular post, which takes four days. But you could, if you wanted express post, you could elect to pay $1,200 for the express delivery. So this one came with the regular free postage. And when I get the manual, we'll open it up and have a look inside because I've seen my sons and it's tickety-boo, it's lovely. Never before have I seen a product disclaimer that says, if the object has to work, this may not be the product for you. But I'm pretty sure based on that disclaimer, it might be a good idea to spend the $1,100 and get the proper still for the fire truck. My own intention in purchasing a pure Chinesium chainsaw for $129 is so that when my 26 year old 038 Magnum still is configured as a sawmill, then I'll have something else in order to, uh, with which to cut the firewood. Because as young fellow me lad said, this thing's only got to cut one load of firewood and it's paid for itself. Because you pay $150 for a trailer full of firewood delivered in town. Here now these days. So it appears that one has become, if perhaps only temporarily, if this thing doesn't last long, a man of two chainsaws. One built of pure Chinesium. And it's so cheap that as I was saying in a comment to a friend in England only this morning, at this rate, if they keep dropping the price, 
by about seven or eight percent per week, then in 12 weeks, by Christmas time, they'll be giving them away, and a couple of weeks after that, they'll be paying you to take them home with you. That's a thought. The modern marvels of Chinesium and progress. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Just think. The disclaimer says, if you intend to rely on this, it is the wrong product for you. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.